have been sworn in as the Deputy Secretary General of the UN. She assumes the highest position for any woman in the organization. A former environmental minister in her home country who previously served as a special advisor to former Secretary General Ban Ki-moon, Mohammed will ensure inter-sectoral and inter-institutional conference of activities and programs in the UN. This was her taking the oath a short while ago alongside the UN Secretary General. I, Amina J. Mohammed, solemnly declare and promise to exercise in all loyalty, discretion and conscience the functions entrusted to me as an international civil servant of the United Nations to discharge these functions and regulate my conduct with the interests of the United Nations only in view and not to seek or accept instructions in regard to the performance of my duties from any government or other source external to the organization. I also solemnly declare and promise to respect the obligations incumbent upon me as set out in the staff regulations and rules. I think I have to sign two. Thank you. You have to do one. Come around. Come around. <laughs> yes. Thank you. I think it's totally against the protocol, but I cannot remain silent. <laughs> and I, I want to say that uh, uh, I'm extremely, extremely happy that you join us, and that uh, I am very, very proud that you have accepted to, to join our team. Thank, Thank you friends. very much. It's great to see uh, African women doing great things at Beautiful. the United Nations. Yeah. From Sinevlam Gomu, because they're doing great things at uh, now Amina Mohammed. That was Amina Mohammed being sworn in as the Deputy uh, Secretary General. And it's time for us to love yes. and leave you, uh, but we leave you with Tabiso, <laughs> yeah, who has a new meaning, I think, yeah. tonight for power couple. Hey, you know, look, the 100 meter at the, as you said, at the um, speed, Athletic South Africa Speed Series is just about to get underway. We saw earlier today, uh, Anasa Jobber. As well, from a job running, so let's go straight.